All right, folks, so I've got this here outdoor heater we're putting together. And hopefully, uh, I've got three cameras filming. Hopefully, we won't miss any angles. Um, I'll have, hopefully, links to the other views, which are basically uh, about 90 degrees to each other. And so hopefully you guys will be able to see everything, assuming I stand in the right place. Um, so before you even get started, folks, get the plastic protective covering off of these. It'll be blue on these shields, a white on the, the base. Uh, I've already done that. This video would have been... An hour longer at least it took forever to get off I'm just gonna tell you that ahead of time so the first thing that we want to do and I might want to move these guys over to the table so I think I'll do this first part on the table we're gonna take the base and put the, the wheels on it and then we've got some other hardware we've got to put in now they did include, and we'll keep this one, I guess, a little further back. Um, they did include a little itty bitty wrench that is, I don't want to say it's worthless, but uh, maybe it is. Um, so I went and found a bunch of box wrenches, and hopefully I'll be able to tell you which one it is now they just say wrench in the instructions who knows if it's anything else than that so the wheels there's two screws that are pre-fastened uh, two bolts and two uh, I guess these are lock lock nuts I forgot the exact terminology for them but um, they're serrated or whatever so hopefully once you tighten them they're not going to go anywhere and the wheels it looks like you know a little cotter pin um, not the best design in the world but all right so I think looking at the instructions folks this actually has the bolts coming out out uh, through the canister into the wheels um, looks like we just don't have enough light so this is another place where it's always better to have a extra hand and I feel like our light is just not in a good spot. The cameras probably aren't in a good spot. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit more light. Uh -huh. If I had all the cameras in the same location. Alright, so um, once again, the bolt is, they want you to come through. Through the base and then through the where the wheel mounts and then fasten it all right now they've only provided one wrench folks and you're going to want to tighten this thing down now of course don't over tighten because you could potentially i don't know if the right size So this is most likely metric, right? But um, let's see what we got here. If I can tighten this. So 
So I'm a little concerned about over tightening that we might deform this, but uh, go to pier on one side. I used a 5 8 box wrench and then we used a 14 millimeter on the other side. <laughs> uh, so if I I could find, obviously, I believe another um, metric that would fit, but and I am right-handed, so I guess we're going to have to go this way, folks. But yeah, this thing here, if it's not tight enough, you're going to lose your screws. Uh, maybe the first time you move around, second time, who knows. Okay, that's on there tight, folks. Now, um, let's go ahead and move in a little bit. So, that's what we did. I think I'll just kind of try and work on this table. I was going to do a, at least in the beginning, try and film this from far away, but it looks like, folks, we are destined to not be able to do that. All right. Uh, we have CCFFEE. -E. So these directions, folks, are pretty good. I mean, as a matter of fact, you're watching me probably because you don't want to read the directions. And I can't blame you. I don't want to read them either. Uh, CC. I said CC. So are we missing hardware? Are we missing a thing of hardware, folks? That might be what's in this bag here. Um, yeah, so, ground fixer. I think this is just to hold up your the canister itself that goes around the propane tank, maybe. Um, there's three of them. Those are, this is DD, okay? And then, it looks like they've already pre-assembled, well, you have to take it apart, but the, the nut, the washer, uh, no, nope. there's six of these. This is actually CC, FF, and EE. Um, there must be another bag somewhere that's got the other stuff. Oh, sorry. AA and BB were what was used here. Okay. So we're good. We're good. Don't stress. All right. So once again, they want the nut uh, to come, or the bolt, excuse me, to go through. From the inside. So my uh, stepdaughter bought this for my wife, and of course, no help to be found. Right? It's another project. Expect to get stuff doing everything by yourself. All right. Um, this is interesting. This is where you cheat and you go look at the picture and go, is there a... Can you see it in the picture? Okay, so if you were to... This, folks, is to bolt this to the ground, okay? Um, that's what this is for. So clever enough, all right, easy enough, um, this is where you wish you had another set of hands to help you, let's get these going, so I can't say the uh, wrenches they gave you are going to work on all of this hardware. Um, actually, it doesn't look like 
You're going to need a second wrench, folks. Just so you know. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Now, some of the materials are thin on here. Expect to... Uh, you've got to be gentle, right? Don't over-tighten. And you could potentially deform the, uh, the body. All right, so... Um, in this case, we can come in from the other side with our box wrench, and on the other side, I'm using a 10 millimeter, right? So I'm using the included one and a 10 millimeter, and this is the way to go, so I'll tell you. The other way to go would be just pay somebody to put it together for you. So, I don't even think we need these here at our house, but uh, once you put this fully together, it's going to be a huge hassle, I think, to try and put this on after the fact. So, we'll do it now. I don't see myself putting holes through my, um, my deck upstairs. I didn't see myself putting holes in concrete below either if it was used. Um, So I gotta say, this was a really nice gift. Um, got two stepdaughters. One is uh, my favorite. <laughs> she always comes up with good things like this. The other one, he's just okay. <laughs> uh, I doubt he's gonna watch this. I gotta watch what I say. All right. Take the wrench again. So yeah, we uh, wife got this for Christmas, and like I said, of course, I am the person that puts it together. Should have had a. Had them put it together while everybody was here. That would have been awesome for me. Okay, you guys are going to put this for a project together. So a lot of parts here. I'm not sure it had to be this, this many parts. Like some of the stuff could have come pre-assembled, but... So luckily I'm able to put the bolt through, then hold that with my finger, um, put the washer on, and then come in with the nut, get enough threads on there that it's going to stay, and then come in with the other bolt. Now. The length of time this takes me to do, folks, um, may take you longer time, may take you less. Um, if I screw up, obviously, I don't edit it. Um, might take us all a lot longer than we expected. <laughs> um, now, you know, a lot of times I do these assembly videos, and I'm amazed, like, I will make uh, enough money off of one of these that I actually pay for the freaking item. Not Now, I didn't pay for this, but uh, it amazes me when that happens. So I'm like, oh, wow. And then I go buy another one, thinking, oh, I'll, make, I'll make a bunch of extra money. 
and I don't. It's a, it turns out to be a loser, so it's the way it goes. Uh, all right, so we've got... Uh, Sure what in the hell we're doing on this next one. So the wheel has to be, I don't know how this thing's going to hold on. All right, we're going to, now we've got to start working on the floor. So let's move all our cameras again. Okay. So this says this thing's got to go on there and be uh, the opening has to be fixed with from the door has to be away from the thing with Jiggy. I don't know what in the hell they're attaching to this picture, folks. Uh, there's nothing on this to attach to. Unless the bolt goes in at an angle. So we've got G, which is this thing. Okay, and then we have GG. So there's supposed to be small holes in this thing. Oh, okay, there are. And then you need a Phillips head screwdriver. Bring your own. All right, so it'd be nice if I had thought of that beforehand. All right, so this ain't too bad. Um, before I do this, I need, I think I need to lash this door over here so that it actually be nice and round. Maybe it'll make life a little easier. Um, like they said though, they want you to put this away from the door, away from the wheels. Okay, there's that. Now I'm grabbing a number, I think a number one, number two Phillips. And I could have did this up on the table, I guess, but it's going to get harder and harder to Alright, so GG is in our our hardware compartment. There's four screws in here. So one of the cats is down here. He's gonna start fighting me. Put them outside, even though it's like really late. So now we have to align this with the holes. Which of course we weren't really paying attention. I had the most brutal shoulder workout today, folks, at the gym. Um, tried somebody's workout. Absolutely regretting it. Never again do I do anything but my own workouts. So, it doesn't really feel like it's uh, lined up very good, but... We'll tighten that one up a little bit. I just need to make sure the rest of these are in. <laughs> you 
And of course, you know, I'm right handed, so this is pits. And even though there's, I think this thing would be relatively heavy. Um, so, number two Phillips head, most likely. I think I'm using a number one, which might not. We need a bigger screwdriver. Uh, so you don't want to destroy this thing. So I might be having a lineman issue. Um, let's see if this really big one can get it done. Nope. It's not the right size. Alright, so I don't know if you guys hear or see the cat. company keep an eye on it all right so there should be four of these total and it appeared that they're only on the one side because the other side's going to swing open and this last one is ever so slightly misaligned I'm surprised So, um, it's hard to put the weight on. Alright, so, that one's been good. This one is not. I only found another way to actually get some muscle behind it. If I can get this in here. Okay, so there's that. And next step, folks. Lower post. So, which one's the lower post? We got two pipes. Must be this one, because there's only, doesn't quite look like the picture. Oh, there's a ring. So eventually, this is going to slide on here, right? Um, for now, though. So this has got to pop up through the canister. Does it appear? Or does it sit on top of it? The picture is... So, we've got this here. Well, okay, the bolts are going in this way, so we have to go that way. Um, QQ is the ring that we'll put on here. HH and F1. So, HH must be a, a screw, and F1 is a washer. So we want to get our HH out of the container. Okay. There's four screws there. And then we want, what did I say? F1 washers. Okay. This might be a lot easier than uh, I was expecting. So let me be honest with you. 
this would be more rigid if this came from underneath, okay, um, and attached. Be a better design, but whatever, it'll work. Um, so we're not going to screw any of these in just yet. I'm going to line all of them up, and somehow we're missing a, a washer. Seriously. Uh, Not in the packaging, so I got short of the washer, folks. Is that the end of the world? No. I don't think it's going to matter. So we'll just put this in here without it. Now that washer, you know, helps to distribute the load and less likely to cause deformation. Um, but in this case, we've got two layers of metal that are probably both super thin. Um, didn't I have a bigger, uh, bigger screwdriver, bigger Phillips head? So this is definitely number two. Number one. that how long have we been filming for 26 minutes folks <sighs> okay so next step we're gonna take the housing that's sitting on the floor Attach our spacers, which are uh, JJ. Calls it a reflective spacer. Um, we'll figure that out. And then there are some screws in here, which I don't know why there are screws in there. But if it's just JJ, why are there screws with it? But we need an N. Let me try. We need three of these. Washes and they are uh, metric eight. So let's grab three of those and I'll move this over. Time being, and of course, uh, this is going to be uh, difficult to do this way, but. Let's be symmetrical. I don't see that one side is bigger than the other. This is actually how I thought that face was going to sit on here. But... Okay. Hopefully, I am. You guys ready to see what I'm doing? I can only see one camera, and unfortunately, it's uh, reversed. So, now a wrench would tighten that down. Um, let's see. Yeah, it says to grab a wrench. So, they've included this little shitty wrench here. Let's uh, see if we can crank it down. Yep. You don't have to crank too much if you can tighten it pretty good. All right, so that's on there. Uh, next step. So we missed one thing, possibly. Ah, there is a re there was a battery in here. Okay. So. Um, One of these things is going to pop off. I was wondering why we had a battery. It says to unscrew unscrew the switch button. And th 
this thing is nicer, but all right, so the spring's on this side, so I would assume, folks, it's going to go that way. Um, and I don't know if, uh, how that works, but that seems a little chintzy. Okay, so I'm just going to say that. Step out if you haven't watched this later. That's a little chintzy. Okay, now the pipe, folks, we've got to attach the stainless steel pipe to the receptacle. So, LL, I guess it is in here. Four L's. Uh, okay, I just grabbed the wrong, the wrong parts. It looks like um, they're showing metric six by four. I don't know where the hell those are, folks. Shoot. Either they're pre-assembled, or we don't have that. And they are pre assembled. And of course, um, okay. So the hardware is on this thing. And the pipe, let's see if the pipe's slotted for four. Yep, it is slotted for four. So you're going to. So, one end goes on this, I would assume because the text is upside right, that uh, the slotted side goes on this one. Um, and this is going to fit, potentially, so you have to feed this through, okay, feeding it through. Kind of a cool design. Um, and then we will have to take the screws out, unfortunately. Completely out, it looks like. So if you have a box. Might have to work these back and forth just to break them loose.
So you don't want to over tighten one. Um, just get one. Get a few threads on it and then move on. And hopefully one of the camera angles shows that. It'd be nice if YouTube after the fact you could take your uploaded video and zoom in on certain spots. Some of these feel straight enough already. Alright, so I'm going to save finishing that off for later. Um, but make sure that's nice and tight. Now, next step, folks, will be to drop this into the base right here. There'll be four bolts to screw in to that. Um, let's adjust our cameras, all right? Because we're getting to that point where this thing's getting kind of tall. And so I don't want anybody to say that I totally botched the, the filming of this by not showing. I mean, there'll be. There's going to be places where I'm in the way. I realize that. That's why I kind of try to do multiple camera angles. So first, the uh, good mother. It's kind of like a bad screw diving. And I'm thinking this thing's going to start to get kind of heavy. So if your ceiling is only eight foot tall, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh my God, folks! What did we forget? We forgot something. Um, before we tighten that down, I'm going to get yelled at. Don't forget that part. Okay. Sorry. Anybody skipped ahead? Um, don't forget that. All right. So, surprisingly, this next step you don't put the cover on first. Um, so, four watt, four bolts, most likely. Maybe they're washers. Let's see. JJ. Okay, this is time for JJ. So you put JJ in. I almost feel like we're at the, we're not going to uh, assemble a tank, gas tank in this video, but guess what, I don't have a gas tank, I do have one, but I don't think it's the right one, oops, so this thing's turned out to be way bigger than I thought it was going to be, Well, I 
be able to carry this by myself? I would say so, yes, because the box got carried down here all by myself. And up the stairs, and back down the stairs. Um, so there's four screws, we dropped one. And I think, folks, we are so very close to being done with this. So uh, it looks a little not perfectly straight up and down. So um, there will be some stuff to do with the gas tank, obviously. But uh, I won't show that one. So now the. Uh, covers that are going to be up top. Um, you will need to remove the plastic that's all over them, okay? So they're sitting on the floor and we're going to um, somehow put this thing together and then eventually put it on top of this thing. So. You will take, there's three piece, it's four piece total. Um, let's move this out of the way. What's going to happen to put this thing on? We're going to have to tilt it. We're going to come back to our table. Somehow these things fit together. So let's move our cameras once again. Oh, folks, I'm getting hungry. You know, nothing worse than when you're working like a Could have a protein drink, I guess. Let's uh, be blocking the light a little bit. All right. So the way they show this is these are all flipped over, and probably gonna scratch this cheap ass table. But so somehow they all go together. Like so, boom, okay? You need FF and KK and LL out of your thing. So, I would assume we haven't even hit these yet. So you're gonna need, why does it only show three? showing us putting one in. Okay, so you need three of KK and we probably LL, we probably already dumped LL all over the place. Yeah, we did. So we got LL out um, and then FF which we haven't used yet. There's a bunch of those. It'd be nice if there were some spares. Um, okay, so the nuts. So we got our our parts. Now we just got to figure out how this thing goes. 
Um, got the bolt coming from underneath. Yeah. All right, so this guy, first not rotated, perfect. Um, we're gonna come from underneath with the bolt. And is it bolt washer? No. Okay, so it's bolt through there, then the washer, and then one of these nuts. Um, and this thing underneath, you would need a uh, box wrench on top, uh, and then a Phillips. Or you can hold your finger really tight against it like I just did and it's probably on there tight enough in the near future. But we would use, uh, if we really wanted to make sure that was extremely tight folks, use a, a uh, number two Phillips and let's say it's hard to demonstrate that here. But uh, that would be your best bet for making sure the SIG stays on there nice and tight for a long time. Now, I have pretty strong hands, so uh, this may be actually on here pretty darn tight. Okay. So, come around. Now, most of you probably had to take, it took you forever to get the plastic off before you watch this video again. Um, if anybody actually bought this product. Some of you may have bought the, watch this video just to see, is this going to be a serious pain in the ass to assemble? It's, you know, not too difficult. Not difficult at all. Alright, here we go again. Box wrench. All right. So there's that. Um, now the, the the top, folks. The top. This is going to be a lot harder to do, I think. Getting the top on there. So it's a shame the box wasn't bigger, and they just sent one big old arm. Um, Captain America shield. So lining all this crap up is going to be um, a huge pain in the ass. I can tell already. So you've got six of it's the same hardware. Yeah, the exact same hardware. Um, so that part's good. At least we're using familiar parts. So there's our, our nuts, and then we need to go back and get more of KK screws, get the, the final six screws out of here, and good luck with this part folks. Um, so I would say start with one of the fixed ones, and we don't want to over tighten anything off the bat all right we just want to get these lined up and then we'll once they're lined up then we're going to crank um so we'll try and do the next one which is you know basically lining up three pieces together pure which makes it a huge pain in the ass um you know, flipping it over, will that help? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. So we've got to get it through two pieces. And I might just uh, be better off trying to line up one further downstream that will work. So, 
hard to see what I'm doing, but um, you always gotta do things nice and flexible, we'll say. Alright, so there's that one. Um, we got another one here we can do, I think. Your one. There's a fixed hole right here that we can try and pop through. Okay. Now, could they make these holes a little bigger? I wonder. Could they use less hardware? That would have been nice. Okay, so there's that one. We can go back to this other one that's fixed because this will be an easy one. There we go. That'll leave the last two that we're going to have to move around. And, and you may find that it's easier to not do the fixed one first. Um, okay. So there's that. And then... Through, through three pieces of metal. Three, I guess this is probably this is probably aluminum. Okay, so I'm going to actually tighten this one down. Yeah, this last one, folks. I think it's going to be a little more difficult, but we'll see. Not be too bad. So you're just kind of working it through the hole and the holes, all three of them, and then boom. Now, like I said, there will be three camera angles of this. Um, one's reversed. I use a tablet so that way I can actually see at least that one camera has got the action. So you're going to go and just make sure every one of these is tight. Uh, you might need actual help to do this, right, if you don't have super strong fingers. Uh, do use a wrench, right, so you could uh, do this. Actually, we want to use a box wrench. And if you can't, if you don't feel like you're tightening it good enough, have somebody, you know, do this with two people. I'm right-handed, so me holding this wrench with my left hand is a wee bit difficult. But. Okay, that thing's on the tight, folks. Um, at least tight enough. Alright, so I would assume we're going to put this thing on now. And yep, that's the next step. So we've got the reflector spacers already put in. We need uh, NN washers, which should be, we need six of these. So they're sitting right here ready for us. And then the wing nuts, folks, that, um, that's the last thing. That's part, uh, looks like OO. So put that on there. And now we've got to angle this so that we can put it on. I think we'll put it, 
will rest it on this chair. Hopefully it won't fall. Now if you have somebody to help you, once again, it's always the best way to get some help, folks. Alright, so that chair there is going to be what this is up on. side let me just make sure you guys can see what I'm doing because the cameras as long as I can see the fact that the feet on the floor the chair are visible and well, got three spacers to line up to So, we need to grab it. Actually, they said six washers. Okay, so they want you to put washers. Wow, I'm not sure why they're saying six washers. Unless you're doubling up. No, it's going to show. Okay, so. Before we were to put this on here, uh, not sure why we need it, but uh, yeah, actually I see now. Okay, so to distribute that load, put washers there. Then we're going to come in with our with this guy, okay? And hopefully we won't pop these off, which will be easy to do. This is definitely a place where I have some help. Some help, please. Would be good. Right. So I did washer and then wing that. And one more of these on here will allow me to take my hand away, most likely, without worrying about the washer falling off. This is not, this one's having some issues with the right. Okay. okay, so there's that. And put that guy on, folks, and then we're done for this video. Voila. I would assume I can stand this up in the, in the basement. Close to the ceiling. It's pretty in. Voila. <laughs> okay, just so you can see the finished product. There it is, folks. So it, I'm 6'2", and it stands way above me, okay? Um, and I'm also 270 pounds, so it just looks ginormous compared to me. A big old alien. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Okay, shut the video off.